ready. Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. So once again, again, I had been on social media, but I heard a lot of people were sending me messages and, you know, tagging me. Oh, you know, you always drag Diddy. Oh, Diddy's doing a good thing. Oh, look how he's giving back to his old artist. Mace got his um publishing. Oh, Diddy's such a great man. Okay, all right. So let's go ahead and watch this real quick. It's national news. Diddy, Diddy is showing he's not a bad boy when it comes to his artist. You see what I did there? Uh, I like it. You, you like the <laughs> According to multiple reports, Combs is re, Sean Combs is his full name, of course. He's reassigning the music publishing rights to artists who helped make his record label Bad Boy Records into what it is today. Artists who are expected to get their publishing rights back include the notorious B.I.G.'s estate, Faith Evans, and Mace. The assets of those rights are reported to be worth millions of dollars. So many bad boy artists. Just when you just like think back, it made me think of Danny Kane. Uh, I loved oh them. Okay, yeah. anyways, she's a D, she's a P. Diddy stan. Let me go ahead and say, let me pop my shit, okay? Because I'm not a Diddy fan at all. I'm a child of the 90s. We watched the bullshit games that he played from day one. Let me tell y'all something. I'm not boosted or impressed by this gesture, okay? Let's start there. Him giving back publishing. To mu half the music that's in this publishing is older than most of y'all in this chat. Half y'all don't know these damn songs. Y'all ain't gonna go back and listen to no damn Carl Thomas, G. Depp. And let's not forget, he sold the popular songs. Did we forget that? He sold a lot of the very popular publishing already. These are the bits and crumbs. Also, okay... Why everybody's trying to praise him like he's really done something. Aren't these modern day artists crying about streams and how they don't make any money from streams? When he had the publishing, that is when people were making money off of physical disc, records, CDs, cassette tapes. That, that was the real bread and butter. Nobody's making money from streaming. They won't stop crying about the shit every other month. They don't make money off of streaming. So how is this helping artists? Y'all get so gassed up and give this man props for anything he does. Y'all got to look at the big picture. He got all the money he could get. And remember a few years ago when Mace was crying about his publishing, it ends when Mace turned 50. Let's Google how old Mace is. Mason Betha. See, real fans know his full name, okay? Mason Betha's age. This is how old Mace is. 48. I'm going to give you your publishing two years early when it ends once she turned 50 anyways. Can we stop being fooled by P. Diddy's so-called good gestures? This was no type of gesture this is nothing. Um, he would have th that the publishing contract was going to end in two years anyways. Go back and watch my old videos when I talked about this with the whole drama between him and Mace. He told Mace, I'll give you back your publishing once the contract expires at age 50. Mace is 48. What is he going to do with, with these songs? Even if everybody decided today, we're all going to uh, stream. Bad, 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 bad boys. You make me feel so good. How much do you really think they're going to get off of that? Nobody's about to run and go buy a Mace album. There's no Mace physical copy of an album to buy. So to me, this was a hollow gesture. Can we stop acting like Diddy is like this great businessman diddy is just the face of a bunch of businesses he's the face of you know 
so-called black wealth. But if he's really such a savvy businessman, why is he having all these issues with these liquor companies? Remember, he acted like he owned Ciroc. He acted like he owned this new liquor brand. And they got rid of him. He started crying about racism. But I thought you was a boss. Why do you have to sign your name and likeness and brand and attach it to an already built company? Why don't you have your own distillery? Why are you not bottling your own liquor since you want to keep promoting liquor to, to black folks? You keep wanting us to drink liquor. Why don't you make your own liquor if you are a billionaire and you're so rich? Because a lot of these people aren't really wealthy. It's just... It's just, I don't want to, like, what do you call it? It's not really liquid assets. So I'm not impressed. I'm not impressed at all. I think he's trying to look good for people. It's all smoke and mirrors. He wants to get back in the music industry. And he knows that this cloud has been hanging over his head. He knows, folks, my age, we're not supporting anything Diddy does. That stupid ass song, Act Bad, was trash. He was too old to be trying to tell young kids to act bad. And then when his own son decided to act bad and get drunk off of liquor and, and drive and possibly could have hurt somebody on the road, he was very quiet. But it's okay for you to perpetuate that my kids and my nieces and nephews act bad at your big age. Okay? So people my age, we don't support anything Diddy puts out. We'll sip it for free on Twitter. We'll do commentary, but I'm not going to go stream anything that Diddy puts out. So he has to tap into the young kids who don't know him. See, my kids, they know him as Brother Love. And me and my kids have gotten into argument. Why are you so mean? He's Brother Love. I'm like, simmer down. Y'all just got here. We've been here. We've watched Brother Love. We watched him be Puffy and Diddy. We watched him exploit the making of the band Kids. Wayne forgot about, you know, Mysterious and all these kids who were used and thrown to the side. So he has to, you know, look good for you guys, for the younger generation, because you guys are the ones who stream music. You know, we'll download, you know, we'll listen if it comes up on our playlist. But we're not, I don't have a streaming farm in my house. I'm not going to play one song over and over again to get my faves to number one. I have better shit to do. Now, if I'm cleaning my house and I have, you know, my little YouTube playlist on, they'll get some plays from that. If I'm, you know, got my ear pods on, I'm going on a walk, you might get a stream from that. And I'm not, I don't have a streaming farm in my house. We're not keeping it on any particular artist 24-7, okay? It's not a staying house. But you guys, that's what y'all do. This is y'all's generation. You guys are, you know, y'all stream and y'all will go hard. And I think he's trying to tap into the youth. And because of people like me and others who have told the truth about him, the youth, you know, they're kind of conflicted. They don't know if he's a good guy or a bad guy or you know what. So he wants to now act like he's a good guy. Well, look, you guys, look, young people, you know, I'm giving everybody back their publishing, even though what it expired in two years anyways. And even though streaming, you don't really make no money off of streaming. And even though, you know, the heyday of Danny D. Kane, uh, uh, Day 26, um, Mace, Total, their heyday is long gone. No disrespect. You know, Mace is doing his thing now on podcasting with Cameron. But as far as music, the, his, his music, nobody's waking up saying, I want to, you know, I'm going to play a Mace song from 1997. Except for maybe me. But the average kid, they're not. Nobody's waking up to listen to Loon and 112. I am because I'm older. But the average, you know, 25 and under, they're not. They're just not. They're all listening to City Girls and Cardi B and 21 Savage and Drake. So to me, this was a hollow gesture. So I'm not impressed. What you need to do is cut those people a check, billionaire. Cut them a check. Even if it's just a million dollars. Like, hey, I know I ate up all y'all's publishing. I know Justin had nothing to do with Mace's record. He was, he was in a damn pamper in the studio, but he got publishing credit. Even Justin was making money off of publishing. He had nothing to do with the songs. He wasn't no beat maker. He was in a pamper. Cut them a check, Diddy. 
I would respect that more if he just cut everybody a check. Total is struggling right now. Cut them a check. We all see what happened to Black Rob. He was in the hospital. Looked horrible near the end of his life. Mark Curry still out here ranting and raving. Cut these folks a check. Quit playing. I don't know where 112 is. I don't know if they're still making music. So yeah, I'm not giving Diddy props. As soon as I heard this, I remember I, t I, I text Marnell back. I said, this is bullshit. I'm not buying it. This is a hollow gesture. They don't make money off of streaming. He got the majority of the money in his heyday. He's still a clown in my book. He should have did right by those people when he had the opportunity to do right by those people. You don't get to come back 30 years later and say, here you go. So I'm not impressed. I'm sorry, I'm just not. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely T T V show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely T T V show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.